Austra that brand of Australian. Outback. From the land down <laughs> under. Yeah. All right, well, I have to fix scores if you want to start this off for me, madam. In the bottom right-hand corner, he is up to... Can he bring it home in this next game? It is Mouse's Hope. And his opponent spawning in the top left. The underdog, to say the least, Sonic the Purple Terran. Now, I don't know if Hope's actually won a Zotac before. I would love to go back through the records and see. This may be his first one. Uh, at least for North America, because again, we've been casting this for a long time. By no means have we cast every single Zotac since day one, but we've been casting this for a long time, and I can say confidently I have not seen Hope win for almost a year. <laughs> at least North yeah. American Cup. So I would be very curious, and it'd be very, I think, a good moment for him, because we said this with the MMA won last weekend. It doesn't matter who you are, what caliber of a player you are, how much money you won, the first win is always the best win. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's really really when you start making a name for yourself, you know, you win one and then sometimes that can snowball into other achievements and then suddenly your Liquipedia page is filling up and people are starting to take notice of you. So it would be really cool for him if he wins it. But similarly, um, Sonic could still take it out. And has Sonic won before? No, I've not even seen this player before unless he was under a different alias in the past. So, I mean, it's kind of nice, actually. Quite frankly, a lot of the Zotac Cup finals, it's, you know, Hyun or it's Polt or it's one of the expected Koreans. Today's mm -hmm. one of the first and rare times where we have neither. Yeah, that's really cool to see. It gives um, some of the lesser known players a chance to prove themselves. Well, what's, I remember uh, somebody did a write-up a little while back where it's like, you know, Scarlet won her first IPL, and they kind of snowballed heavily off that. Now it's one of the best Zergs in the world. But if she had been shut down at the gates, if she never won that IPL, never had a chance to compete elsewhere, mm. she may have never had the incentive to improve, continue, and be the best of Zerg that there is. Yeah, that that's it. So all about that uh, first breakout win. Yeah, I mean, a Zotac Cup is in no means like a game changer. Hope's already pretty well renowned for his playstyle, but it definitely mm -hmm. helps solidify, like, look, I've got this under my belt, added to a resume type thing. Yeah. Definitely. So, we have a Reaper opening once more, staying with the stock standard openers is Sonic. And, well, we, uh, in... we say once yep, more, but Sonic hasn't actually done too much uh, with Reapers in this series. Oops, sorry, wrong button. In this series so far. So, yeah. two Reapers coming out, I'd love to see him cause some concrete damage, because I feel his his early game is lacking. He's got the right ideas, but he doesn't execute. Like, the Hellions were sitting at that Watchtower idle for so long. When you've got ten of them, you got to go in and pick off some drones or something. I mean, it was a nice catch in the middle of the field where he eradicated all those Zerglings, but without economic damage, you'll replace those Zerglings and those Banelings over and over again. Yeah, true. Maybe he can do that in uh, this game. Just fine tune his play a little bit. Reapers really aren't supposed to get kills though, so it's kind of. Um, I, I would say it's the Zerg's fault if they lose drones in this situation because they definitely shouldn't. Oh! It's just a bonus. And, oh, he gets a Reaper. That's definitely not supposed to happen. Great surround. Should never happen. Should never ever happen. Not with how fast Reapers are. That is the danger of going around the mineral line. Can you imagine if Reapers yeah. could mineral walk? I would kill myself. That Can would be you imagine terrible. if Hellbats could mineral walk? I'd quit the game. Am I just creating nightmares here for you? You <laughs> are. Like, like the Zerg tears are gonna stop flowing very shortly. It's like seeing a clown for the first time. You just don't know what to do with these. You're like, shut up, just shut up and go away. <laughs> okay, Hellions once again coming out of Sonic. He's been playing again. He's been playing these very standard openings. He's been playing them very nicely in ex or sorry in uh, I guess on paper. But execution has been lacking. I really feel if Sonic wants to win this game, if he doesn't want to get knocked out of the Zotac up here and now, he needs to get in there and cause some early damage to Hope. Yeah, that's going to be the um, big ticket into winning this game and coming back in the series. If he can get in there, even if it's not necessarily early, if he can do it at all, because so far Hope has just been so on top of everything. You can't kill his drones. He pulls them away in an instant. He's got units there in the next second. He's just so hard. Um, oh my, Zeph. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, I'm going to uh, just go do something else now. Sorry, this is the 13-year-old in me. He's He never grew up, sadly. I can see that. <laughs> Four I'm sorry. 
Four aliens making their way across the field. We do have Simpak behind this, so Sonic, again, we'll see if he can do some damage. A nice wide ramp here, the natural of Akalon Waste. He should be able to slip on in there. And, I mean, four Hellions could easily get eight drones. More than enough to pay for this. Yeah, for sure, but it's kind of hard to get past the Queens. I mean, they do a lot of damage, as you mentioned in the last game. They soften up those Hellions quite a bit, and 12 Lings did just pop as well, so he needs to be careful with that. Doesn't want to get caught between Queens and Lings. Oh, well, I like this. The wall now starting at the top of the ramp. And that wide ramp advantage now being kind of stripped away from Sonic. Yeah. I think the most he can do at this point is really just poke at the third, be annoying, force the Zerg to come out and deal with it, because Hellions eventually can tickle a uh, hatch to death, but... <laughs> I like the phrase in there, because that's about accurate. Despite the fact that there's flames and the building actually physically catches on fire, they do no damage to buildings, is what it comes down to. Yeah. But moves like this can definitely work out if you can slowly whittle down the queens, but the lings look like they're oh, not nice even nice transfuse in right now. Oh, that queen was about to might. go down really hell. Oh, but if he can catch... There's so many zerglings here. Stopping to hit and run might just get him killed. Whittle mine on the high ground, though! Where did that come from?! Oh. And suddenly he's back into this. Another one mind burrowing. I don't think this was seen. And oh, he didn't even lose that one Hellion. Just got two health remaining on it. What the heck, Sonic? When and where did that come from? Really nicely done. Sick moves. That was... Wow, that took so many links down. It's not even funny. I'm sure Hope felt that one uh, way back in his face. That would have hurt a lot. And now he's on his way to Lair. And he... the thing is... As soon as some units march out here, he's going to have to remake a bunch of links that he would have actually had a fair few out already to defend with. Alright, well we have some actual... This is interesting to me. We have the Spore Crawler and the Spine Crawler at the bottom of the ramp. I'm not sure what this is in anticipation of. It's... The Spine Crawler I get, you want to poke away the Hellions as they try and run into either the third or the natural. It's in a really nice position to do just that, but... The Spore Crawler is a little awkward to me. Hmm. Well, I, it kind of zones out for the uh, natural and third at the same time, I guess. Oh, I guess if there's like air coming. Maybe it's to catch the odd drop if it decides to beeline it, yeah. maybe. Or maybe just for like widow mines. Because when the Terran like, marches right up to your front door and they start spraying them with widow mines, it can help with a bit of vision. But considering he has overseers available to him, I don't know. Hope again with this absolutely sick creep spread. Already going crazy. Sonic gonna try and do something about this, but actually, if he gets, if he goes to the other third base location, those rocks will be down. There's no queens in looks in spot, but actually, we'll just decide to push the front instead. So never mind. The queen does go down. The second queen gonna fall also, and he's gonna head straight into the third where he might be able to get some drone kills. But lings are gonna follow up from behind. Oh, marines are in a bit of trouble. But the hellings are shooting the queen instead of the zerglings. Oh, what a massive miscontrol there. As he does lose way more marines than I think he needed to. All the links have been cleaned up, however, so all he has to do is really contend with this queen and spine crawl, and not able to do all that much in this position, so he may just suicide this army and get as many drones as possible at this point. Well, he definitely got a lot of damage done for a low cost amount of units, but again, these small things Sonic is playing just that little bit like if he had cleaned that up that could have been so devastating he could have even maybe picked off the hatchery if he had managed to retain all of those marines instead yeah, of being no, left with I think three. All he really got out of that was like two creep queens and the third hatch queen which has already been replaced. Um, sure he, he got a lot of lings done as well but again he's been unable to touch the economy of hope. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to point out from chat here, this is funny. To Killer Man 13 saying, after seeing that one of mine hit, I just want to quit. <laughs> Being a Zerg player himself. <laughs> yeah, that was so nicely done here by Sonic. I'm wondering if that's something specific to this map or just a happy coincidence. But either way, this one of mine standing here is still the MVP of the game thus far. Yeah, that's it. Such a perfect position for it as well. Mute is out now on the field. Uh, there are turrets up waiting, and Widow Mines even. Yeah, so he's not actually that big of a threat. He is more than comfortable to push with this army, and I agree with his choice to do so. Yeah, the ground army for uh, the Zerg isn't actually all that big. He's going to have to morph more Banes. They do oh, not have if he gets some yet. good splits. Splits plus these Widow Mines, he should be able to take this fight, no problemo. Some nice preemptive splitting, but... 
There are a lot of Windmines. Marines have clumped up once again, though. It's a bit of a downside. Failings oh. are taken out by those Windmines. Nice shots go off, and the Mule is going down as well at the exact same time. A Manor Mule. How rude wow. coming out of Sonic. And that's the push he needed. Can he make it count? More Zerglings and Banelings are coming out. But they're coming in from all different directions, and the Marines are right in the middle of it. They're but very look at these Banelings coming in. He's got to focus these down before they finish. Oh no, they finish just in time and they have speed as well. Mm. Forcing them into the Metavax, which does get taken out by the Mutas. Well, at least one of them does. And that mule. That's called Karma. You never manor mule until you're dead sure you're going to win the game. Another Metavax being donated for free to a Miss Rally. A little unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, the reinforcements sent back home as well to regroup. He can go for another push with this if he wants, but um, at this stage, Hope has had enough of a chance to solidify that he would actually, um, well, stabilize this better way to, that he would actually crush the next push. Sonic, with four bases, if he turns this into a planetary, he is turning into a planetary. He's in no real danger from anything that's on the field. The drop once again coming down into the third base, and, ooh, gonna try to pick this up. Going for no boost available. <laughs> yeah, not quite. Does get cleaned up by Banelings. Not so cost efficient, but it oh. does get cleaned up nonetheless in the rest of the army. A beautiful split in the middle of the map, though. I mean, that really could have been much worse here for Sonic. Yeah, definitely. But still, like, this far in the game, with all this harass and pushes, he's only killed eight workers, and the rest is just being kind of the macro for Sonic. Our armies, so. The macro for Sonic is right on the ball. We see him again, yeah. constantly resupplying. I mean, he's not exactly dominating in supply, but he's trading a lot of these units for Banelings, and if the trades keep up the way they are, every single time Sonic's going to pull slightly more ahead. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Here we go, another push being crushed by Banelings, but the reinforcements are just constant, and eventually I feel like Hope might get whittled down here. I really wish Sonic would push with a couple siege tanks. MMA is one of the few players who does do this, and they are so essential to dealing with these banelings effectively. Widowmines are great, but sometimes they're random and you just can't rely on that. If you're focused firing down with tanks, not a single baneling will touch your army. Yeah. Bunch more units popping it out. Injects are suffering just a little bit. He's had to make an extra couple of queens, I think, um, to yeah. make sure he can keep up with the production, because Sonic's macro is just out of control. Yeah, Hope's Queen in the main also has way too much energy, so it does mean he's been missing some injects. But okay, here we go, the collide, the collision, Banelings, again, just turning so much of this into green goop. And Sonic's that pushes are not being that effective. I mean, he's still applying yeah. so much pressure, but it's getting cancelled and nullified without taking out any of these Mutalisks. Yeah, and the Mutas are really hurting the medevac count as well. There's only two out on the field right now. Uh, now one, in fact, so the very injured one is the only one left, so finally it looks like Hope has, um... Oh. Zeph, Sorry? here in the northern part of the map, you wanna know how much creep spread there is? There's so much creep spread, Hope can't even see his own creep spread. He's actually just revealed his own creep spread over the fog of war. That's insane. Wow. That sucks for, uh, Sonic. He really hasn't been able to control it that well, I mean... It's, it's not for lack of scanning and killing it either. He's done a good job. It's just that Hope is so relentless with continuing to spread it throughout the game. Yeah, and the, the creep is just its map control and its simplest and purest components, but Banelings being focused down again. <laughs> Sadly, Marauders. Nice drop here in the fourth base, but it's not going to be enough. Eulos will clean this up. And yep. checking the worker's loss. I mean, really, Sonic's not causing the economic damage he wants to be able to do. Both players sitting around 70 workers apiece. Mule's gonna help him stay ahead, but of course, Mule's that double-edged sword are mining him out so much faster than his opponent. I think the important thing to note is that while he continues to do these bio mine pushes, which are fantastic, more marauders in there now, so the uh, banelings can't take him out as easily. He's on his way to three three plus three attacks about to finish. The Zerg is still on lair tech with two two, so if he keeps this up, eventually, I think he will actually be able to take her out. Oh, the marauder push combined with the banelings. It's funny, the Marauders were designed to tank the Banelings, and they did, but there's just so many of them, they still kill everything on the field. And again, the Mutalisks once again not being taken out. It's so scary to leave these Mutalisks alive. Yeah, sure is. He needs to be careful with those Widow Mines, though. Can't Hope with some great those. control, though. Look at this. He's dropping constantly here, and despite everything that's going on in the middle of the map, these drones have been pulled every single time. He's been losing such minimal units. Yeah. And Sonic's been... 
expanding like crazy behind it, now taking an even more forward fifth base, making it even uh, more. Oh gosh, so, widow mines. So many widow mine. I guess missiles, fire spells going off, whatever they're called. Ray's gonna push into these banelings, and yeah. without these banelings, really, there's no concrete way to hold this. The Mutalists will try and do what they can, but of course, Mutalists don't fare well against Marines. And those Widomines are about to rearm all the wood. Oh my god, the Mutalists get taken out that's entirely! That is, that is gonna be DZ. 95 supply to 172 that. for Sonic. The plus three attack, it's just too much for Hope to handle. That, yeah, that's gotta be game. That's so painful to see out of Mr. Hope here. He's done so well up to this point, but you know what? We were talking earlier, we want to see more games. I'm plenty happy to see this go that way. GG.